As per Forbes, the job market landscape is shifting dramatically in 2024, with applications surging at a rate four times faster than job openings, according to Workday's latest global workforce report. While job requisitions grew by a modest 7%, Applications skyrocketed by 31%, intensifying competition among job seekers. In this competitive job market, how as a job seeker are we going to cope up? How can we place ourselves better than others? Well, I can help you on that. Applying for multiple jobs with a single resume was never recommended and is not recommended as well. What if I told you there is a platform which can help job seekers curate the best resume for a specific job description? What if you can prepare for a mock interview before your actual interview based on the specific job description? And what if you can have your resume health check done, generate cover letters and also talk to an AI career coach to take inputs, make your resume better. This is where Zep Resume comes into picture. I'm happy to announce this platform that comes with a bundle of AI services that is going to help you in your job hunting process. Let's get into the product. Let's get into the product demo. Once you're logged in, you will see that there are multiple options. First of all, as a logged in user, you will be getting 10 credit points in the platform. So 10 credit points can help you in 10 trials. And in case you are out of trials, you are keen to explore more about the product, you can create a new ID which is also possible when once you create the new ids you will be able to have 10 more credits now the thing is that for now we don't have the pro subscription ready yet because this is a soft launch where we are only launching the platform we want people to try in the services and give us feedback so that we can improvise we can come up with a better product but the better product will be launched very very soon right now today on 29th of September. This is just a soft launch. Now coming back to the platform, you can see there are multiple services. In the AI services, there are services like AI interview, cover letter generator, resume scorer, resume checker, and a AI career coach. Let's try to go into each one of them. Now, for example, I'm talking about resume checker. So let's say I'll go to resume checker. Resume checker is nothing but a simple resume health check analysis. That means in case you have your resume, you want to get your initial analysis done, how your resume looks like, what is the overall resume score, what are your suggested key skills that you can add. This is where you can check. It has nothing to do with which type of job you're applying for, but it is like a general resume health checker. You can see the resume score is like 78, which is fine. I have a profile summary, recruiter feedback, strong experience in data science and leadership. As you can see, AI keyword is missing here. So in case I'm applying for AI jobs, I should embed more and more AI related keywords. Some of the key skills are mentioned here. Some of the suggested key, uh, skills are also men mentioned here. And there is a suggested career objective, which is to obtain a senior leadership role in data science. So this is a resume checker. Now jumping on to the next tool, which is resume scorer. Now what is the difference between resume checker and a resume scorer? Let's try to understand the differences. Resume checker is a basic health check. Resume scorer is, mo is more inclined towards a specific job description. Now for an example, you are applying for a job. Let's say I'm applying for this particular job, which is by Geo. So what I will do is I will go here I will provide my job title. I will provide the job description. So let's say my job description is something like this. And then I will upload my resume. And then I will score my resume. Now what's going to happen is based on this particular job description, my resume is getting a score. It could be 50, 60, 70. I don't know, but you can see I have got around 75 which is a pretty much good score. And if you go in depth, you can see some of the missing keywords are masters, PhD. Well, this is something that I don't uh, uh, believe in because I already have masters, but this is a problematic thing. I have a PhD equivalent, which is DBA. But yeah, if I mention PhD, obviously it will help me. Again, 
AI slash ML is not mentioned, but I do have ML mentioned. So, you know, I need to add these keywords as well to get a better score. So see, it's, it's not hundred percent accurate, but at least it gives you a direction on what should be your resume look like if you're applying for this specific job. If you include these, some of these keywords very cunningly, because you, let's say you have already worked on OpenAI. In your resume, you have OpenAI, but here it is showing you should add ChatGPT. There is no problem adding it. Go and tweak your resume and add it. Your scores will be good. Because eventually these days, you know, many companies might or might not use a real HR or a tech recruiter to go through your resumes, right? So it's always better for us to be ready. So we should leverage these tools and add these missing skills so that we get a better chance. And you can see uh, detailed analysis is given. You can always explore with your resume. So after these two comes the next feature, which is a cover letter generator. I'm not going to show this, but this is a very generic cover letter generator where you can generate. Let's say you're applying for a job. You want to have a specific cover letter. You can always generate. Might not be very helpful for jobs in India, but if you're applying for abroad jobs, cover letters are mandatory in abroad jobs. If you don't know, just know it right now so you can test it out one of our most important tool or functionality is ai based mock interviews which is a voice to voice mock interview now here you have to do the same thing you have to pass your ex your target job you have to pass your resume and you have to select which type of interview you want to go for is it a hr technical or semi-technical for now, okay, the difference between semi-technical and technical is very understood. There is a fourth option that is also coming on uh, very soon as part of the official launch, which will happen in October. But right now we just have three features, but a future uh, fourth option is also coming, which is a coding experience where you can go for a coding uh, AI mock interview that is also coming soon. But right now you can leverage these semi-technical and technical and go for an interview. Let's say I'm getting started with an interview. For now, we just have five questions. But again, when we do the actual launch, there will be more questions. There will be an option for the user to choose in like five questions or 10 questions. And we are also trying hard to have a time bound as in if you get into an interview, it should have like a 15, 30 minutes time slot where you should answer. Those kind of things are also in progress. It will come soon. Now, how do you answer this? It's very simple to read this. You have to hear it. You will be able to hear the voice. And once you hear the question, you should go and record the answer. Let's say I want to record this answer. How would I do that? Given your background and skills into data science, gen AI and machine learning, can you discuss how would you approach the problem of improving the accuracy of a predictive model? So there are multiple ways of improve accuracy of predictive model. In fact, accuracy is something that is usually cursed when it comes to classification and reg or regression problems, because usually when it comes to industry level problems, we do not have, you know, uh, balanced data. So in that case, accuracy is something that we should not focus on. So we should focus on other metrics such as recall or precision or various other things. So. The, so the question here is how do we improve that? So firstly, we have to take, you know, some chunk of data from the company. Let's say I'm working on XYZ company. I take chunk of data, six months of data and start working on it. And let's say I'm getting stuck at a certain point, let's say 85% accuracy. I'm not able to proceed. So there are ways to boost the accuracy where you can take help of feature engineering aspects or you can take help of hyperparameter optimization things. So there are multiple techniques that, that, that are available and using which we can also improve the accuracy scores. Apart from that, we can also go for augmentation techniques, which can also increase. Well, this is, this is not a detailed answer. I'm just giving a random answer here, but I'm just showing you the tool. Because if I start doing interviews on the call, the, the video length will be too much, right? And this is how you can submit the answer and go on and you will finally receive a certificate, not a certificate, a report card, which will look like this. 
I have already given one of the exams in the past. So you can see in progress is one and one completed is one where the completed will show you something like this. The score, the questions, the answer that you gave and feedbacks. Very important, right? Even though it was a satisfactory answer, but there is a feedback and nobody is perfect. Always take feedbacks and improve yourself. After that comes the last thing, which is career coach, which is like, if you start your career coach or no resume file found, you have to go to your profile and add resumes. So let's say I'm uploading my resume here and upload. And once it is uploaded, you will be able to access career coach. Career coach is something like a career coach, right? AI based career coach, which will be able to answer and help you out. Let's say, I want to migrate to DevOps. What skills should I learn? Apologies for the spelling mistake, but I deliberately did this. Um, so you can see it's giving you some advices and accordingly you can talk to this to get more advices. So that is all about this particular tool. And so in the pro features that will be launched, which will be like after your 10 credits are done, you don't have an option right now. Right now, it will show you that this feature is coming soon. So right now, if you want to try, you have to create a new profile and try. But eventually, if you're interested in this tool, obviously a pro feature will come where you will not have any restrictions. You will have unlimited trials for around 499 Indian rupees. But anyways, I'll talk about the pricing later because we are still thinking whether 499 is the right price or 999. But anyways, we will come to that. And the last part is resume proofreading, which is like a, you know, professional service that you have to pay for in case you want a professional like me or Soumya to go through your resumes and give you a detailed feedback because AI might not be able to answer you 100%, but I will be able to. In case you want a detailed report card on your resume, on your next steps, you can fill this, add the notes and pay. 999 is all what we need for this. And you will be receiving a report from us within two days after your submission of this. So this is all about this particular tool. Amazing features like mock interviews, resume scores, resume checker and lot more things. In case you have any kind of issues, because right now, if you are watching this video and you are till this point, that means you are interested in, in this application, whether you are a paid user or free user, I really don't care, but you are my beta testers. You are my beta testers who are testing this beta application. The application is live. Soft launch is done. Today was the soft launch, which is 29th of September. The real launch will be during October. But in case you have any kind of feedbacks, you can always reach out to me in the comment section. Please let me know if you want to have some dedicated features in this particular tool. Let me know and we will come up with that. That's all about this. In case you like, like this video, please like, share and subscribe the channel and start using the tool. Thank you.